リバースの効果でよみがえったモンスターはこのターンバトルを行わなければならないフェイスレオスフェイスブラックマジシャンHello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is from the deck for the white team and today we have a new challenge that I decided to take on this difficult moment that we are going through. The challenge is to use two headliners from the anime in the same deck. And as you can see, the first two were Dark Magician and Elemental Hero Nails. So what did I do with this? How did I combine these decks? Because I think Dark Magician by its own is a great deck, but Neos um, suffers a lot because both the original Elemental Hero deck and the Neos Station deck are not that great. But there are some cards that you can see from it. So let's take a look at the deck and let me talk about what it is. So we have the deck here, 41 cards because we are playing the Master Rules card in YGO Pro. And as you can see, oh, 5 cards, 3 Dark Magicians, 2 Elemental Hero Neos. It's more of a Dark Magician deck than Neos Engine. As you can see I'm playing the 3 Dark Magicians, 2 Neos, 1 Rainbow Dark Dragon. Why the Dark version? Because you can summon it. If you have seven dark monsters in the graveyard, so it's not much of a brick in the hand as the original Rainbow Dragon. And as a bonus fact, you can use it for a lure of darkness. Okay, you have the three apprentice illusion magician and three monsters on the field, two copies of Keeper of Dragon Magic because I'm still playing the fiction substitute variant. To make Dark um, Dalmatian the Dragon Knight. Three copies of Neo Space Connector because this guy is going to get me Aqua Dolphin. And Aqua Dolphin gets us to Bert and Aconda. And Bert and Aconda throws Neo Fusion from the deck to the graveyard to summon either Brave Neos or Rainbow Neos. This card is amazing. Just shuffle back the barrow, the monsters, the bridge. It's amazing, it's amazing. You love to see it. Two copies of Magician's Rock. We don't want a lot of normal summons in the hand. So this is a, a very good ratio. Just five, seven of normal summons. Eight with alcohol. As you can see, three Allure of Darkness, two Nails Fusion, because drawing it isn't bad at all. Three copies of Dark Ruler no more, because uh, even if we are talking about a good deck, this is you no know, space Dark Magician, so we need support cards that help us with the game. And Dark Ruler no more helps us negating all those heavy monster boards. Triple Super Polymerization, because we can summon any of these guys with it. Dark Cavalry, uh, Dark Magician and a Warrior. Neos. No space connector, aqua dolphin, any word. Of course, Star Beam Venom and Mod Dragon of the Swamp. Two very good targets for super polymerization. The classic Dermation Spell Traps, Magical Circle, to Navigation and 3 Eternal Soul to interact with the Dark Magician, and 3 copies of Infinity Permanence because, as I said, it's not enough with only the Neo Engine for Star Mansion deck, it's a big deck. And for the rest of the exercise, I realized the Love Rare Dragon because, as I told you before, it is great to say to your woman 
top, you have to pay. Number 11, the Versumonic, as equal as these other thing monsters. I pretty much use Rainbow Nails, uh, Mock Dragon, Brave Nails, and Burton and all. But don't let me tell you that, we're going to watch the review. So, as you can see on the first replay where we play a Synchron, a very popular deck because we are talking about Master Rule 5, and this deck has a lot of potential, but it lacks on the final board because you are going to see that it's not the best board that you can make with Synchrons. But, as you can see, it's a lot of spam, a lot of proportion. And having these options are really great as it's a very fun deck. If you want to play synchro spam with the uh, use of Young Computer, it's great. Here comes the Blazer. And as you can see, after Garden Rose Maiden, that's the last card that he summons. So, one negate on the part of my opponent. And I top the card ruler no more. So, I just drop that, get the field, our magical circle, and my opponent's cook. <laughs> didn't let me even try to play my fusion deck. For this one, I played against Sky Striker. This was a full match. I'm just going to show you the second game because that's the only one that I won. But it was also the most interesting. The first two were dominated by the Sky Striker strategy. And this one was the best of the three matches. So, as you can see here, this is a very linear Dark Magician play, and I tried to go for Bert and Aconda in this context, but just was met with Ash. So here is going to come Ray, and I'm going to change the Ray with the Dragon Soul to banish the big monster that is going to come up. in this case, Hayate. But that is great activate with the Ranger to push a common itself, common kind, and then might control my other Dark Magician. Made sick. When this person made sick, he thought that the Dark Magician was unaffected because of the Russell and Freud. So after this turn, I'm winning with 8,300 life speed. And I made a mistake here, I have gone for more on the board, but I decided to back with the two Dark Magician to the first. And I, I just, that was a really big thing for me. My opponent activates Mystic Mind, so that means bye bye to the phone. But actually, I, I left the Metal Fair Dragon, and that's not an activated effect, that's a continuous, so it's really great. The room is going to make it met by Ash Blossom, so I don't get the draw, but he's going to pay 500 for that Ash Blossom. And this is a very green game. It's me trying to grab out a Dark Magician against him trying to grab an out for my Metal Prayer Dragon, because he can be destroyed by her. And also he wants to make the odd okay, game, but he doesn't have to be yet. And on the board. So here he grabs the window anchor from the top deck, attacks my apprentice, and that's all that he does. And as you can see, I have the full advantage here. Although I don't draw the third Dark Magician, I think it was at the bottom of the deck. Here he jamming waves my impermanent, but that doesn't matter, this is control. There is now for this board, it doesn't draw anything. He draws the third ray and he scoops me. <laughs> very, very long game. Here I'm going to play against Cyber Dragon Machine Monsters and I'm going first. This deck going first is not the best deck, but it tries the most that it can. So as you can see, there's no board actually, there's just a trap set, and I want to hold the Neos Fusion for my next turn, but as you can see here, there's not going to be an next turn. The special summon Galaxy Soldier and takes both effects of Curse and Galaxy Soldier, 
carried another galaxy cylinder and a saber dragon. He goes for all mirage and then for Noma Infinity. Pretty standard combo. From there, he takes my medicine rod, makes a second soldier, and I think he made a mistake here because he takes out everything for a rampage dragon. And I thought this was him because rampage dragon can attack twice if you send two cyber dragon monsters, but I thought it was a cabby because in the deck, I don't know, he could have OTK me in this turn. I don't know, it was really weird. So anyway, I draw the space connector and my opponent to think that he made a mistake and he left just a cyber dragon. Here I play against Dark Magician Red Eyes God deck. Let's call it like that. And I go in first. So what did I learn to build? Uh, apprentice and a full dark magician deck. Where's the new patients? Good question, Dorothy. Here they come. The space connector is going to grab Aqua Dolphin and Aqua Dolphin is going to trigger. And because any of these monsters has zero or less than 2,000 life points, I take 500, but that doesn't matter because I grab the Rainbow Nails and just attack for game with everything on the field. <laughs> yes, seeing this full board win by LTK is very impressive. But anyway, this was the first video in the new section about these deck liners used together. If you have any options or any comments, you can leave it below. And thank you very much for your time and see you next time.